Assalamualaikum. Darsim ya hoş gelipsiz. What does it mean hoş gelipsiz? Welcome. Hoş gelipsiz. Hoş gelipsiz. Bugün biz sizlerden hoşumca sözler yatlıyımız. Okay? Bugün biz sizlerden hoşumca sözler yatlıyımız. Bugün? Today. Today. Today. Do we need to write down bugün? The word bugün? Yeah. Bugün. Ooh. Hot. Good. Today. Bugün biz sizler bilen sözler words. Okay? Sözler words. Bugün biz sizler bilen sözler yaklayınız. I would like also to write down because I really want you to start talking. Okay? Um, i̇htimaz bugün biz sizler bilen bazı bir um, sözler şu sözlerini yazıp olamaz. Yakşı mı siz? Siz yakışır mısınız? Yakışır. Siz bugün kanakasız? Kanakas. Kanakasız. Or işleriniz yakışır mı? Yakışır. Yakışır. Siz neyin ahvaliniz yakışır mı? Siz neyin ahvaliniz yakışır mı? Yakışır. Let's write down. Ahvaliniz Yakışma. Ahvalingiz yakışma. İşleringiz, işleringiz yakışma. Yakışma siz. All means. Are you good? Are you feeling okay? How how are you? How do you do? Okay. How are you? Let's repeat. Repeat together. Ahvalingiz yakışma. Ahvalingiz yakışma. İşleringiz yakışma. İşleringiz yakışma. Yakışma siz. Yakışma siz. That's the easiest one. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Ben yakışım. Ben yakışım. Rahmet. Siz neyin isminiz ne mi? Siz neyin isminiz ne mi? Ben yakışım. Ben yakışım. Siz neyin isminiz ne mi? Benim ismim Cem. Siz neyin isminiz değil mi? Siz neyin? Siz neyin? Isminiz. Isminiz. Siz neyin isminiz? Siz neyin isminiz değil mi? Benim ismim. And let's repeat together. Mini ismam. Mini ismam. Mini ismam dinaza. Mini ismam. Siz ni ismingiz nima? Ismingiz nima? And I think by this time, I just want to kind of like a little bit mention a couple of phrases because we want to continue working. But I also want you keep asking about the weather. Bugün hava kanaka. Bugün hava kanaka. Hava soğuk. Hava soğuk. In Wyoming, hava yakışı. What is the weather like or how is the weather? Okay. What is the weather? Weather today. Or how is the weather? Let's repeat. Bugün hava kanaka. Bugün hava kanaka. So in English, like that word would be how is the weather, not what is the weather. Yes. And if you want to say hava yakışı, if you want to use your vocabulary that you know, you can just repeat hava yakışı. So look means cold. Um, asık means hot. Hot. Mhm. Cold. So look. Um, what else can you say? Shimoli. Uh huh. Ah, windy. So unfortunately, there is no word 
that we can use for windy as from shamol, but bugun shamol, you can say today windy is shamol. like wind. It's wind. It's windy. We, in English, we say windy. Shamol. Shamol. Yom ghar. Yom ghar. Yom ghar. Shamol. Yom ghar means rain. Rain. Mm-hmm. Qar. Snow. Qar. Snow. No. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So what? So what? So what? Sorry. Asak. It's not only for the weather. You can also use for your tea. For example, Hamraka choy yaxshi korasas. Choy means tea. And if I ask you, what kind of tea would you like? You can say either hot or cold. Oh, cool. But if you ask any Central Asian person, and I'm not saying for everyone, but 90% people drink only hot tea. Um, windy, says shamol, shamol. Or sh uh, wind, and then rain, yomgar, yomgar, yomgar, kar, kar, kar, kar means snow. Oh, it sounds like kar kind of. Uh huh. Kar. Yes. Good. So. Okay. Any any other phrases that for every day when you come you want to ask each other for like you know? How would you say where are you from? Where are you from? Who remembers? Oh, oh, I know this. Wait, hold on. Sis Kayer dances. Sis Kayer dances. Sis Kayer dances. Sis Kayer dances. Where are you from? Kayer dances. Q U Q A Y. If you if you if it's good for you to read it in English, you can. But this year for us also year. It should be Kayer. Kayer dances. Kayer dances. Sis Kayer dances. But in Uzbek, if I'm typing in Uzbek, I wouldn't use Y. It's for for English. Yes. Sis Kayer dances. Uh huh. And then any country, you just use the country and man, dan man. So, did you just forget to put the Y in, or is that sorry? No, it's for English. If you need to use. Oh, okay. Yeah, but in Uzbek, I wouldn't use Y. I just would use Kayer dances. Sorry. Okay. Man, Uzbekistan dan man. Siz qayir dan siz? Man gulistan dan man. Siz qayir dan siz? Min Amerika dan man. Amerika dan man. Siz qayir dan siz? Ekla dur dan man. Dur dan man. Your dan man means that's the place I'm from. So I say ekla dur dan man? Yes, good job. I am ekla dur dan man. Siz qayir dan siz? Our Zoom person. Man America dan man. Man America dan man. Kaisish tat dances. Kaisish tat dances. Kaisish tat dances. Sis kaisish tat dances. Stat stat stat state. State. State. Man Virginia. Shaddad Yashayman. Man, Virginia, Shaddad Yashayman. Siz kaysi shtad dan siz? Men Wyoming dan siz. Siz kaysi shtad dan siz? State, which state you are from? Which state? Even now, for maybe. Ah, where am I? Wyoming. Wyoming dan. Siz kaysi shtad dan siz? Wyoming dan. Wyoming dan. When I put man, Wyoming? No, that'd be from Wyoming. Okay, so let's write down the word state. I think state is shtad. Mm -hmm. And a uh, uh, very good phrase that you use, Kaitari. Kaitari iltimas. If you need me to repeat, please use this word, okay? And it will be used back. Kaitari. Kaitari iltimas. Please repeat. Kaitari. Can you put down like do? Thank you, uh, yes. please, and mm -hmm. all that. Iltimas. Iltimas means please. And Rahmat means Thank you. More slowly. Iltimas. Um, please. Yes, iltimas means please. Okay. And slowly, you can just say sikin or asta. People use it. Or iltimas sikin kaitari. Sikin kaitari. Sikin. Okay, let's repeat. Kaitari. Kaitari. Iltimos. Rahmat. Rahmat. Sikin. Sikin. Okay. Okay. 
that is sink in. Sink in. I think for, for now, like all this would be good for, uh, let's repeat every time when you guys come here. But I would like to go back and uh, maybe um, start, did we conjugate any work last time? Mm -hmm. Okay, we didn't. So let's do, um, let's go ahead and take a look at our transportation that we learned from last time. And I'm going, um, so transport, <coughs> somebody, ah, somebody. So if you want to say bless you. Oh yeah, that's right. So, me. Bless you. So means health. Bullying is I wish you health. Okay? So bullying. So bullying. So bullying. And I want to start conjugating the verb so that you know how at least we're, why we're putting man, dan, you know, like sis, san. So let's do, how would you say, um, how would you say drive, to drive something? I mean, Yes, sure. Hi, the mall, right? Hi, the mall. This machine, oh, I'm sorry, um, man, uh, machine, hi, the mall. Good. Hi, the mall. Hi, the mall means to drive. To drive, okay? When you drive something, hi, the mall. And uh, here, from last time, we said, yengil aftamadi. Can you? Can you drive it? Yes, we can use for driving, right? Um, can you take a look at the transportation here and tell me which of the uh, transports we can use with the verb haidamok, haidamok, okay? Uh-huh, yengil. Is they both at the same time? Yeah, yengil, aftamabil, uh-huh. Yegil Aftamabil. Yegil Aftamabil is like the... Light. Yeah, light car. We don't say light car here. We just say Chevrolet and all those cars. But here, so what they mean is like difference between um, big car and the little car. So that's why in Uzbekistan we call Yegil Aftamabil. What does Yegil mean? Yegil means light. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. Yes, Yegil means light. Mm -hmm. So what else can we drive? Machina. Machina. Machina. Yuk so, machina yes. Yuk machina. Yuk machina. Truck. Little truck if you're moving somewhere. Uh, so yuk machina. And in Russian it would be gruzavik. People will understand in Uzbekistan too. But truck means in gil machina. What else can you drive? Autobus. Autobus. Yes. Autobus is the same, right? Autobus. Mm -hmm. oh, what else can you drive? That we have here. Ah, my micro autobus. What else can you drive? A trolley bus. Mm -hmm. Trolley bus. Is that normal? Uh, like, like you know, we don't have here. I never. They have them in Cheyenne. You can drive a trolley in Cheyenne. Yes, trolley, or like in Florida. Or bus. Yeah, but you know, like this trolley bus. Usually, they have to have like we say call talk, right? You have to have like it. it just the lines. The yeah. lines and everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else can you drive? What can we do? We cannot drive samalot, but what could we do? Which mark? Which mark? Which mark? Okay. That too. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to conjugate this, and then you will help me to conjugate this plane. Okay, let's do it. So personal pronouns, man or man. I think I talked about that. We did that last week, yeah. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, I think we did. And I will just send it, okay? Thank you. You can have it. Brini. Okay, if we did, can you just tell me them? Can you conjugate for me? Uh, yeah. So man, so can, can I say I drive yeah. a bus? Can I say that? Right? <laughs> uh, man of the bus, uh, I don't know. Man of the bus, hi day man. Hi day man, sorry. Can you, can you do one more? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Sin, uh, for example, sin or son, you? Uh. Man of the bus, hi day man. Son of the bus, <laughs> hi day son. So what is interesting? Um, from last time, if you just you know repeat all those pronouns, uh -huh. man, son, and then at the end, I just want to for you because they already yes, yes, covered yes. for verb when you use hi daimok, 
Haidaiman. This Haida is your main core verb. Okay. And then after that, you just add this one. It's like you're pronounced. And that's, yeah. and that's like me? Yes, yes. I am driving. Like, no, I drive. Ah, I drive. And like then, yes, whatever you have pronounced, like for you, he, she, you just add the ending. Man, Haidaiman. Sis? Uh huh. U or she, he, u. U. Hi, day. Hi, day, day, right? U, hi, day, day. Bus. Hi, day, mus. Ular. Uh huh. Hi, day, day. Oh, I died the lap. Okay, let's do for Uchmak. Okay, so Bernikta, uh, let's do for Uchmak. Mir? Uchaman. Uchaman. Sian? Uchasan. Uchasan, sorry. Sian or uh, like Sian, Uchasan or San Uchasan. U, and remember U, we said U. I fly. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes. Uh, I think uh, we are done last time, no? Did we? Um, we might have. I may have missed it. Okay. But like, I will just put it here too. Yeah, good. Okay. Could be good to say, which mark means to fly. Okay. And then, uh, how would you say for Koplik? Koplik. This is Berlik. Like Berlik means singular. And then your E here. For um, for he, she, right? And then if I want to say this, Uchamas. Uchamas. And our mus means for we. And then sis? Uchasis. Uh, uh, Good. Should be Uchamas. Above that. Mm -hmm. Uchamas, yes. Is it missing a name? Oh, yes. Sure. Uh, uh, good. And Ular? Uh, Uchadala. And your Uchadala here is for Kopli. Okay? Good. Okay. Good, so we came together, we wrote down some phrases, and what I would like to do, let's finish up with our Ertak. Do you remember Ertak? That we have covered. Kuzil Kalpokcha, right? Kuzil Kalpokcha, Little Red Riding Hood. And we stop. Please, could you find on your PDF uh, the Little Red Riding Hood that I sent it, I think, two weeks ago? Uh, this one right here? Yes. yes. Uh, can you, can, do you have it? Yeah, let yeah. me. So, we stop. Where did we stop, Jim? Um. Shundai dipti. Shundai dipti. Okay. Uh, let's read. Let's, would you like to start, please? Mana? Mana bu bulak pirok sa bir shisha sharab ne olib bir Mana bu bir bulak pirok sa bir shisha sharab ne olib bir it could be meat pie, it could be any type, it could be sweet pie as well, okay? If you would like to write down um, on top of the of your word, pirog means pie. Shisha, shisha sharab, shisha sharab. Sharab, usually uh, it's a drink, right? Uh, but here, so kind of a drink, like something. Shisha means um, as a bottle, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, buva, buva, what does buva mean? Grandmother. Grandmother, uh huh. Buvin ne is a very good um, verb. I would like you to underline. Yoklapkil means to see, to visit somebody. But if somebody is sick, for example, okay, can you go and visit or can you see this person? Can you go and see the person? Yoklapkil. When somebody is sick. For example, I can say, Kili, um, bus. Let us go and see our teacher, okay? If she's sick or he's sick. Mm -hmm. Next sentence, please. 
Ubetop. Okay, uh, we had another word we, we, that we heard from the presentation today. It was kasal. Uh, kasal bolmoq, right? It's to be sick. Betop means also when you're sick. I am man betop man. Man betop man. Betop is uh, to be sick. Man betop man. Please underline the word betop. Did you find? Yeah, I've been. Perfect. Betop. Betot means also sick, to be sick, right? Okay? If you, do, if you don't want to use the word kesal, you can say man betop man. Okay? And zora bularni tatib darmongi kirsa. So here it's more in a fairy tale. So the, the big meaning is here that uh, maybe after eating all this, she will get better. Okay? Tatib darmongi kirsa. Darmon means like in a way when somebody is recovering, getting better, okay? But we usually don't use it in an oral language, but I just translate for you so that you know. Yaxhu bulu qalsam, if I want to get better, I would use it. Next, please, would you like to read the next sentence? Um, uh, Okay, qizib ketmasidan, it's about the weather here, okay? Before it gets hotter, it, before the weather gets very hot, go, please. Yol getush means go, you can underline. Yol means uh, way or road, okay? Yol, yol getush means go, please. So, wait, so, tush means go? Yol, yol. Oh, yol. Yol, uh -huh. yol means road, and but two phrases together, yol getush means go, okay? Oh, go. okay. Okay, and here I would like you to to underline the word kun. Kun means day. Kun means day. Kun means day. Then uh, tohre. Please underline the word tohre. Tohre means right. Go to the right direction. Okay, like right. Not oh, to be right. Not right. The yeah. right like direction. But yeah. if I say you're right, so tohre. This is oh, okay, so it's yes. direction and being right, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, good. Um, and then she says, don't go, don't turn anywhere, okay? It means, don't turn. Brulmok means to turn somewhere, okay? I would like you to, uh, to underline the word brul, brul. Brul means turn, but the word ma, brul ma, means don't turn. Ma means yes. do not turn. Yes. No, do not turn. Burul ma. Burul means turn, but burul ma means do not 